In some cases, people are driving 50, even 60 miles per hour through one Mead District school zone. Now parents and crossing guards are saying, slow down. KXY 4's McKay Allen, live at the new Mountainside Middle School on Day Mount Spokane Road. McKay. Yeah, part of the problem is this school is just brand spanking new, which means people are used to driving 45, 50 along here. They've never had a school zone before where people have to slow down to 20 and let little kids pass. Slow down, buddy. Joey Paulino is a dad. His seventh grade son goes to Mountainside Middle School. The principal at the seventh grade orientation mentioned that they need volunteers. So one week a month, he's also the Thank volunteer you. crossing guard. And he's noticed. See, that one's probably not 20. Cars go too fast here. They're all busy people. They got to get somewhere. But, uh, you know, it just wouldn't be worth it if uh, one child got hit by a car. The speed limit on this road's 45, but the school zone speed is 20. You can tell that some people are doing 20 miles an hour and some people are doing twice as fast. He puts cones down, he has a flag, he waves. And it is a little bit frustrating. But people still fly past. It's not something that most people are even thinking about. And Joey has a personal vested interest in school zone safety. I had a uh, cousin of mine a couple years younger, got off the school bus, and the, it just happens, and this is in Colorado, this happened to be on a 45 mile an hour road, and he got hit by a pickup truck. His cousin died. That shouldn't happen here. It was very devastating for the family, you know, his friends. It, it, it was just not something that I would like any family to have to go through. Now, part of the worry here is that the uh, crossing guards are volunteers, all of them, which means that sometimes this isn't staff. Now, the big worry is that kids come across from the middle school after dark, after having volleyball, basketball, wrestling practices, what have you. It's hard to see in the dark, especially when there's uh, no crossing guard and people aren't used to slowing down for this stretch of road. Reporting, McKay Allen, KXOY4HD News.